how not to do things. This is the special issue of PG Dental Tips. Let's go. Dear colleagues, today we have a special issue uh, of uh, BG Dental Tips from the topic that sounds like don't do like this, okay? So the tip will be dedicated to the approach that is not very well or not very good in our practice, okay? So here I would like to show you a restorative case where you can see quadrant isolated, actually posterior teeth with uh, poor old restorations needed to be replaced and revised and uh, actually we are doing our caries uh, revision, okay, cleaning the cavity and we are ready to proceed our mm, treatment, okay. So if you can see the, the second molar uh, in terms of the, um, the amount of uh, tooth structures that were preserved is uh, pretty favorable to uh, do direct restorations. The walls are very thick, the cusps are very thick and the cavity is not so big, let's say. So it's a really good indication to do direct restoration. If you would look at the first premolar, it's also uh, pretty fine to do direct restoration as well because of the thickness of the walls and so on. The second premolar, something like between uh, direct and indirect restoration, but still fine because the palatal cusp is thick and the buccal cusps are thick and there's a lot of dentin preserved and so on and so on. So basically we can go for the direct uh, restoration here as well. But if we take a look on the first molar tooth, uh, it's very wide cavity, very thin walls, buccal and um, palatal. So for me, it's an indication to do cusp coverage uh, restoration can be indirect, for example, composite or ceramic, it's up to you, but I prefer in such a cases to uh, deal with the indirect restoration. So here is how the tooth teeth looked like after sort of execution. So uh, premolars and the second molar was restored directly. The first molar was prepped for so-called onlay. And now what I would like to tell you is not to do the preparation like you can see here on the slide. Because um, this palatal cusp that is relatively thick stayed uncovered, okay? I tried to preserve it, but I, I would like to say this case is pretty, pretty old. It was done, I think, already 15 years back. So it was from 2010, as far as I remember. Uh, so I was dealing with this minimally invasive dentistry, blah, 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 without getting my common sense into the game, to be honest. So what kind of problems we may have as the long run in such uh, designs of preparation? First, there is no uh, warranty that this cusp will be not broken in a while because it, it will still accept some occlusal loads and this is actually the stamp cusp, okay? So there is a risk that you may have a promise with these cusps in the future. Always, there is a risk. So that's one problem. Another problem, when you have this type of preparation, the design is complicated, okay? okay? The design is complicated for preparation itself and design is complicated also for dental technician uh, to make a good fitting of the restoration with this kind of, uh, you know, sophisticated uh, geometry. So for me now, what I would do, I would do cusp reduction everywhere. It's easy to prep, okay? You do just your uh, tabletop preparation or the complete uh, occlusal reduction with a light beveling to palatal or to the buccal uh, and to the buccal side because it will give you some reinforcement and also better color blending as well. So preparation is easier. Uh, the design for dental technician is easier. The color integration is easier. And then uh, the risk factor of the potential crack will be eliminated completely because ceramic will cover or composite will cover the whole occlusal surface, will be strong enough to resist occlusal forces. So if you are dealing with the same kind of cases like that, I really, really recommend you not to do these kind of designs because of mentioned uh, problems that you may face with. But if you would like to learn more about uh, composite restorations and indication to do composite restorations, and also if you would like to learn more about preparation designs, I'm happy to invite you to our big 
composite and rabbit am course to master composite restorations as well as to big preparation course where you are able to learn all techniques of preparations for veneers for crowns for overlays for veneer lace and other uh, types of restorations in um, daily practice okay so this is the final result but as i told you it's a high risk to get problems with this uncovered piece of palatal cusp hope this was useful and as usual i wish you uh, to be strong and may the dental force be with you